Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stone with tonight's Deep Dive. It is May 30th, 2018, and tonight's market that I've selected is cotton, the uh, ETF being BAL. Don't want to be long that one right now, but uh, nonetheless, uh, BAL is the ETF that you could trade if you want to go long. We've got the uh, the short, intermediate, and long-term trends all pointing the upside, and we've got the technical rating pointing the upside. But we had a number of conditions that popped up here in uh, cotton. We had a pivot high, we had a rocket on the power level, and we have support gap, not good, uh, for, for cotton in itself. Uh, if we uh, just do a full analysis, we actually have a number of things that you should be looking at on the, the pro alerts. Unfortunately, nothing is showing up here for cotton, but I would still suggest that you take a look specifically at uh, a lot of different markets with the the surge highs and the flows and the, the doubts, you know, looking for profit taking, but nothing right now uh, showed up here. But as mentioned, uh, we did have a pivot high and a rocket high, and those are conditions that we need to really uh, uh, heed the warnings on. So let's take a look at cotton in itself. Uh, first, we'll uh, pull up a uh, just a normal uh, chart to, to cotton. You can see that it's, it's been pretty volatile as of late. Uh, these are daily bars, not weeklies. These are daily bars. You can see the, the big move up yesterday, and then with today's action, it had a nice surge to the upside. It closed down. I'm not necessarily saying that this trend is over just yet, but early warning signal tells us a couple of things, actually three things. One, pivot high. That's an early warning signal that uh, this market has certainly gotten ahead of itself. We have the elastic level, or excuse me, the energy level, uh, where it's broken above the, the upper zone and it is now going parallel. You see how it's going parallel, the green to the uh, yellow line. Uh, that is a condition that can only go on for so long, and then the whole market kind of reverses. So the, basically the clock is ticking on that side uh, whenever we see that type of condition. And we don't always see this, but uh, this is a... Uh, uh, this is the uh, the power level, and we're looking at a rocket market, and it's an indication that uh, the market has certainly gotten ahead of itself. So we basically have three set conditions. None of them are perfect. They're not necessarily calling for an exact top on the market, and sometimes they are a little bit early. But these th these uh, three conditions have triggered, and so if you're trading cotton, you should be aware of what is taking place. Now, when it comes to our systems, this is what we really want to be looking at uh, because we actually had a tremendous amount of trading going on, and the trading has left us with virtually a hedged position. Uh, we have a long, a long, a long, so three longs. We have a short and a short. And so what's what's happened is we've unwound some of our long positions and the net net result is three long, one sh uh, two short. And so as it stands right now, you know, we have a nice open position profit, but we're hedged. And while this is the condition that's going on right now as we speak, at least as of uh, uh, this time, you know, almost 5 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, uh, we actually had three long positions that liquidated themselves. And so I just want to show you what took place here. If I flip back over to uh, uh, Trade Station so you can actually see uh, those conditions. Uh, first, what I'll do is uh, show one of our 45-minute bar systems. This is the battle system that did go long. This is back on the 24th, and it liquidated with some of the volatility or some a lot of the volatility that have occurred here with uh, with cotton. So we're able to liquidate the position. This is uh, in a, approximately like a $3,200 profit right through here. If I bring up some of the other uh, trades, uh, we had a nice little uh, profit that took place. This one didn't catch the bottom uh, and got out virtually the same spot and actually it entered in another position once the market had sold off a little bit. This one's around 9500 or so, not $9,500, uh, $950. And then the, uh, the final one here uh, should be 
this one, I believe. Uh, this one in itself uh, should have been up around, and this one could have been nine, nine, 950, the other one could have been around 1600. But, you know, we've had some, some nice profits, and with the volatility that searched the upside and then the retracement, a lot of our systems, the long positions, have unwound themselves. And that, again, leaves us in a position where we're net-net, virtually flat. We got three longs and two shorts. And so there's a lot of indecision going on with the market uh, as far as what the systems are looking for. And that's why they put themselves in a position to uh, protect and hedge themselves. And with the, the fact that the market has rallied to the upside, again, these are daily bars. We had one early warning signal here, a second early warning signal right here with the energy level, the, the, the fact that it's gone parallel to the upper zone. That typically means that the, the clock is ticking, as I alluded to. And then with this uh, uh, power level, this uh, rocket type condition, uh, it typically tells us that the market has had a bit of a rally and it is looking for a uh, top. I, when I look at this type of a condition where we have that nice rally yesterday, a pop again to the open uh, and then the market rallies to the upside and then closes down, if the market is able to recover and move a little bit higher here, no matter what takes place, with the, the fact that we had the elastic level, the energy level, and the power level all giving us early warning signals, I do believe this can be short-lived. Our systems still would take uh, profits and still be able to put ourselves in a position uh, to take advantage of any type of a little search to the upside, but the fact that we liquidated three longs, and right now as we speak, and this can change tonight and into uh, tomorrow, um, the fact that we are on the hedged side three long, two short, just simply tells me that whatever easy money, and I'll phrase it that way, that has uh, that uh, was capable of being made has already taken place, and that anything beyond this level, if the market should rally, is going to be speculative money, and speculative money is great when you can make it, but it often reverses course very, very quickly, and uh, sometimes it can be elusive, and so putting yourself in a position to take the money while you're able that's what the systems have done that's what we would preach and that's what the uh, the early warning signals again with elastic energy and power level that's what they're all basically telling us so uh, what I would uh, tell you to do is uh, look for support gaps to the market where we ended on the day is basically 9250 thereabouts watch this market co closely because the support to the market uh, there's a gap between 92.43 and 89.63, and then another big gap between that and 87.86, and another one between eight, that and 86, uh, basically uh, uh, zero, so just 86.0. Zero. Uh, when you have those types of conditions, it tells us the market has gotten ahead of itself and didn't have an opportunity to support itself, and because we don't have that type of a condition having been hedged, with the, uh, the reaction we had today makes me personally feel much, much better. And with these, uh, these potential gaps to the market, these four uh, zones of no support, that's what they're talking about. Uh, in that particular instance, uh, it doesn't bode well for the market to be able to find support. And it could have the, one of those stair-step uh, down type uh, moves. So again, uh, when you look at uh, our deep dives, when you see a condition here of S gap, that support gap, those are those gaps that I was referring to. What you want to do is you definitely want to take a look at our targets uh, and you find that uh, this is uh, one of the better things we actually have. Market targets, I'll just do it for you, market targets. And then what you're going to get is presented a lot of different markets uh, that we actually uh, will generate our, our numbers from. Uh, you can always come to the support gaps or resistance gap. And here, lo and behold, cotton has a major support gap. That's why it's showing up with that uh, uh, that uh, uh, 
header header for the uh, the deep dive uh, that's why it's showing up there and then what you'd want to do is come over look at cotton and that's where you'll see that there are these uh, gaps within the uh, the different major support levels to the market and that tells me that the market has the opportunity to sell off and our systems having a liquidated themselves during the course of the day those three long positions having been liquidated and having banked some money uh, then you have the conditions where I was talking about the elastic the power level and the energy level telling us that the market in an early warning signal is probably gotten a little ahead of itself uh, and then you've got the support gaps here it's probably safer bet and that's probably the only way I can really express this the safer bet to take the money while you're able and watch the systems let's see how things kind of play out here uh, again we have three long two short let's see how uh, the markets kind of react to themselves I think that we've been able to uh, to bank a, a bit of coin on these uh, on uh, the, the systems themselves and when it comes to uh, what takes place from here with the fact that we're somewhat hedged I'm sure there's gonna be some more extreme volatility in the coming days uh, and or weeks and what you want to probably be doing is heating the warning and uh, look to uh, exit some of your long positions if at all possible and start to uh, protect and hedge yourself that's the upshot of uh, today's action so uh, hopefully uh, this makes sense if you have any questions I do like questions uh, I would encourage you to send me an email and uh, talk about uh, uh, you know market that you may want us to take a look at and we can certainly do that and the other thing that I'll promote is the fact that we're going to be doing these weekly um, when I'm terming is office hours but basically uh, a weekly seminar that I'm going to pick one or two topics go through and kind of describe them in some detail and then take questions from people and then we'll see where the uh, the, the webinars go it's not really a set format it's uh, more along the lines that uh, it'll give you an idea as to uh, uh, have you kind of present a question to us and we can go in any direction you want and uh, uh, you know see how things kind of play out from that side and uh, as things stand right now we'll see uh, where go where things go with cotton and I think I've made my point so we will take a look at another market tomorrow thanks very much bye bye